Hey everyone, this is Rebecca again, and I wanted to show you something a little bit different today. Um, one of the things I'm doing is keeping my budget in Notion, and and again, I don't know the, um, the pros and I don't know all of the pros and cons of that, but for me, it works and I like it because it's again, it stays with everything else that I've got going on. And there's a lot of ways that I can filter and add things, and I can just kind of create a a, func a form and a database that works for me. So that's why I'm doing it, and, and I wanted to show you when I was out and about today, I, w I was able to quickly snap a, re a receipt and, and upload it directly to the line item. I could put all the information in directly into my budget right there where I was at and move on, or at least some of the information and move on. So I wanted to show you today how I did that and maybe give you another idea for a way that you could use Notion not only on your um, your PC or your Mac, but also... Um, on your phone when you're out and about. Um, so what I'm going to focus on is this Dylan's receipt, um, uh, this second uh, entry here. This was something that I had, um, uh, something I had purchased for somebody today. Um, and I have this um, budget database just filtered down to some things that came through today. So this is not all of what's in there. It's just a sample. But I wanted to get a, a little treat for somebody who was um, needing a little pick-me-up today, so I ran to Dylan's to get her a, a, a pumpkin spice coffee and take it over to her. So basically what I, um, um, I'm, I'm going to duplicate this again and kind of show you what I've done. And I'll go through all of the entry pieces in here, but mind you, when you're out and about and you're in a hurry, I would say that the, the most important thing that you would need to put in is where you were at, snap the picture, that's probably the most you need at that moment, um, but it's it's in your budget. You have it. You've captured it, and you can come back later and fill in all the rest of the details, or and even do that when you're verifying whether it's passed through the bank and that sort of thing as well. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is just recreate it, and you see this, and, and I don't know how I'm, this is the first time I've tried to do a screencast on the phone. I'm learning all kinds of things here, so I don't know how to point out, and I'll, so I'll just try to be very descriptive of what I've knew, I'm doing. Um, there's this new button, uh, the the blue plus new button. Basically, I just tap on that, and that brings up a form, which is what I use to enter something into the the budget or to the database. In this case, I'm going to call um, type in Dylan's, because that's where I went. Um, and I'll go through all of these just because it'll give you a sense of how I do this. You may have other line, other things you want to keep track of in your budget, but this this just works for me. Um, this wasn't a budgeted item; it was just a spur of the moment. It was today, so I want to just make sure that that was today. Um, the balance um, uh, that's not something that I worry about here, but if it was a credit card or something that I'm paying down, then I, I would put the budget in there. But I have an actual amount. It was $9.09, .09, so I quickly put that in there. I had to go to context. Um, for me, these are different uh, sec sections of where I keep track of stuff. In this case, the category was a gift. Now, you're going to notice I need to clean things up in here because I've got two, but that, that'll easily be fixed. And then for file, and I might have to do this twice because it seems like it, it doesn't like to do this on the phone when I'm doing a screencast, but the, the last time it did work. But basically, let me go back and I'll show you how I did that. I just tapped on the blank space next to file, and then I tapped add a file or image, choose file, take a photo or video, click on that, and then just hang tight over your receipt, snap the picture, use photo, and okay, good, it's gonna work. <laughs> and it uploads the photo right there and then. And we'll just give that a few seconds to go all the way through. But the nice thing is, is then this is in your database. It's right there with that line item. Um, and you can go on your way. You, you've captured everything you need. And then when you go through and you're reconciling with your bank statement, you've got it all there already. Um, there it is. So I click done. And you can see the little images in there now. Um, let me see here. So, uh, so the first checkbox there is receipt. That's just a reminder to me. Do I have the receipt? Have I gotten it? Do I need to go get it? So I'm going to click that. And then when I reconcile with the bank statement, I can check the cleared box. Um, in this case, I'm going to say um, pumpkin spice latte for, and typically I'd put her name, but in this case I'll just put friend. Um, and it was out of the simple checking account. And that's it. Um, 
Now this uh, AS ingredients that's for if I have a so it's if it's soap shop ingredients I want to keep track of that so that's that's nothing to do with that but that's it and then I can go back to that budget sheet and there it is you see a new line item up at the top this is Dylan's where I've entered it again there's the file so it's already there and attached with it. Um, and there it is all the way across and I can then um, you know filter that or if I wanted to look at just personal items or you know whatever the case is um, there's so many different ways that you can filter this budget then and and you know you can get a sense of what you're spending in the month and you know there's just lots that you can do with it and I've I have found it to be very um, flexible and and it, it, it I don't know it works for me mind you I am not a numbers person so um, um, I have to do something that works for me, so that's why I'm doing it this way. I'm not sure that all the pros and cons to doing it this way, but it works. So anyway, let me know your comments, and I hope that that was helpful for somebody. Thanks.